Hi guys, 13 Diamond Creeper reporting in. Welcome to a review of the game. This is about this is about reviewing the game that you should know about it. So let's get right into it. So this is a Eidos game. Eidos produced game with Diamond Crystal, 2003, approximately November 25th release. And this is Whiplash for the PS2, 2003. So we're going to talk about the game now, since we have gotten to all of that other stuff done. Um, for the gameplay, I'm going to rate it about 8.5 stars. The reasoning here is it, the gameplay does run very smoothly, but there is a couple little issues, and I will address that. I'll, I will be addressing that right now. Is that I recognize throughout the game that the game can shake a little bit, like the incinerator when you're inside trying to fight that that incinerator boss, of course, with that waste monster boss I'm at, is that I recognize whenever the waste boss is technically burping, he is also shaking the incinerator, and it made it very difficult, a little bit difficult for me to gain, gain control over the game, so I couldn't really... I couldn't really get a very good uh, angle there. So that's really the big one there. And the other one that sometimes are, it can be very rickety parts of it where like a waste area for say in this game that it can be a little bit rickety at points. Of course, of course that, so that is done there. Now we'll also discuss about the, now we're going to be discussing about the graphics and lighting. Well, of course, we're going to give that two and a half stars to the lighting because the lighting here can be very dark and the, the, re bleh, the re it can be very dark and there's a lot of blind spots in this game. Of course, of course, that it's very dark, such like the power area. I recognize there's a lot of dark places. And I've also recognized throughout the game, like through the hallways, some of the hallways can be very dark, very, eh, a lot. And, you know, it's a very, uh, and also, speaking of which for gameplay rating, is also the hallways in this game can be very tedious. Just a clarification there. And... The other thing is we're going to do Boons and Abilities, how they rate, I rate that. I'm going to give that not uh, 10 stars because I checked all abilities. I've done all, checked all abilities and it seems like it does work. But sometimes it, the controls can get a little bit mixed up. So, so at least on, on that note, but there's even a little option over here to tell you all the little bits and bobs there. So, luck, so, and also how the game deals ability is by smashing a lot of the company's money down. Of course, the company of Genron, which is known to be a very bad place for these animals, of course, because they are doing very cruel experiments. And of course, they're the, and of course, the tycooner behind this business, which is Franklin Demand. This guy can be, this guy of course is even, not only is he just a, not only does he just, not only is he just a tycooner and making more money, but he's very cruel to animals and that's the part of the game is that you're trying to bankrupt this business as you're smashing items and of course you have a money filter to, to explain how much, how much money does the corporation have less before they get bankrupt and that's, and of course the interface rating the interface can be very self-explanatory at points, and it is very self-explanatory. Of course, on the type, type top left, the top of left will be your health. That's Spanx, and of course the top and towards the top right is Redmond's hit points, which means if you hit things, you will see the bar go up and down. If you fill up the bar, if if you fill up the bar. Uh, as you can see right now, it's going up and down as you're hitting things. If it goes full, you'll get the hyper bunny, which means the bar will return out green. Of course, if you keep hitting up stuff, you will be able to do a lot of damage. Even to enemies, you can do a lot more crazy stuff. And of course, there, and of course, the rating for 
And of course, that deserves... So at least it deserves some credit. The music, and of course there is a mu and the music in this game, I give it at least eight and a half stars. It is very good. It is very upbeat at points. As you smash items or hit enemies very hard, you will be able to would be able to get the music to get more faster and more and a little bit more interesting too. With the tunes starting to go up higher and the of course that and of course then going through and of course that would that's what's going on. So, what's the next part of it? The bugs and eras. Of course, guys, there's a lot of bugs and eras, guys, as I clarified most of them already by the ratings. The biggest bug I've recognized is the money counter, as you probably have recognized there as I as I didn't let that fully drain. The money counter would accidentally reset for some reason. I think that's a bug in my opinion. Another kind of bugged out area is there's screen features where you can turn it horizontally or you know go act you know go horizontally go vertically that I've tested out a year ago and apparently I did not be, I was not able to get that to work and I see no recognizable change I think that's a broken down feature which means it's not long no longer workable there's even a difficulty setting of course I don't think this works at all either because I've tested it out once or twice, I believe, and I have gotten a result that is same as easy. So I don't. So it's not kind of worth your time up, updating the difficulty, unless I could be wrong. Uh, but the last time I did test it, it turned out that there was no apparent difference. So also the lighting, of course, guys, you can see it is kind of greenish color, a lot of icky colors that mm, don't really fit well with the game. And of course, there is, and of course, some, and also sometimes the missions can get, the mission can get, missions also have a very buggy feature too. Is because whenever you accomplish a mission, I recommend it's more common in the medical area, in the medical area, that they will sometimes, it would sometimes reset your mission, even if you complete it and they, then they say it's been accomplished, it will go back to that mission so that's a very unfortunate bug and the status is completely inaccurate of course you have to collect all 40 robo all 43 robo mice and of course and of course so that was inaccurate of course you start with five robo mice and they haven't counted they did not even count that in the beginning of course they're all scurried throughout the corporation so you're gonna have to find it in every spot every sector and of course each sector is split up into two areas one that you do first to accomplish your first set of missions and of course later on when you get the grapple ability to and eventually when you get better abilities you will then be getting going back there's a second section section where you have to collect its security card to earn X to get to the executive tower of course of course, some of this, some of these battles can be very tricky. Some of them are rather challenging, of course, to times, to omit the game. And some, and another, okay. Oop. And the last thing, we, and also, to explain the rest of the GUI, you're that little broken, with the broken beaker bottle there. There are, they are, that means how much things you have to destroy in the area. Of course, uh, for example, like that little lamp thing right there, as we break it, that the globe would fall right onto the doorway. Of course, it, there's an explainable tutorial there how to accomplish the game. And of course, that's your status every time. That's your status that will be for every end of the board. And of course, they'll tell you your security card, robotized collection, how many hyper snacks you collect it, and, uh, and etc. If we log out of the game, of course, that, and also there's a map terminal for you to get. And if I can get back there quickly, a map terminal and of course a save terminal. Every save terminal will be able to allow you to save your game wherever you are. In the, and of course, I don't find the, uh, and it's a real shame that they did not put it everywhere else. Of course, for an example like this, it'll save you in the relatively position as the message says. So if we can confirm and log out, I'll show you how to set up the your world or your game. Of course, you start out with like this. You press the log in, and of course, you use log in. 
And of course, as I've used this to make the game, make this gameplay in the background, of course, you click it, and of course, you end up with this interface. Of course, there's every use, every user icon does not make a difference how your your world is going to be set up. It, everything's going to be set up like that. And it's a shame that there is no way we can get a different type of world, or maybe it'll, like every type of creature can give you like a new difficulty or a new setting. And it's really a shame that that did not work. Of course, the game deserves at least six and a half stars. The game is great. Does have great gameplay, as you see in the background. Of course, there is some bugs and errors, but it's okay, and hopefully in the future, they will correct it. And I'll, that is all we got for this review video. Subscribe to the channel if you really like, if you like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.